I'm going to say with some things. Um, uh, I, I, you know I've been pretty much a skeptic about these things kind of from the very very beginning and uh, and yet uh, I, I know that uh, there are all kinds of unexplained things in the world that, that science is probably never going to touch and uh, this and this is one of them. <laughs> uh, it started, I, I don't know, I'm guessing 15 years ago maybe, maybe longer. But uh, somewhere around that time, around the mid 90s, uh, my mother passed away. And uh, Debbie, my wife's father, passed away within a week of each other. And uh, followed not too long by, we had two dogs at the time and then they died within a couple of years. And where this is going is we, we went into a, a depression and uh, that uh, got pretty deep at times that we really didn't know how to deal with. And it was somewhere in there or sometime after that time that I began to see this woman at the house and always in the same place. I'd uh, be sitting in the, we've got a little den area and off to the side of the den is the kitchen. And I would see her out of the corner of my eye walking through the kitchen towards the stove. She was uh, wearing apron, the kind that loops around the neck, had her hair pulled back behind her head. Uh, couldn't make out exactly what she was wearing. She was wearing something that had a collar. I don't think it was a dress, maybe a shirt or a blouse. But uh, this just kept going on. And at first, because I'm pretty skeptical, I thought, well, it's the light or it's a curtain flapping or something like that that's catching my attention. But it didn't seem to matter what time of the day it was or if I closed the curtains or anything, sooner or later she was going to show up and doing the same thing. She'd walk towards the stove, never look in my direction, just walk there and, uh, and kind of stop. And that's where I would stop seeing her. Or actually, I'd see her out of the corner of my eye, but if I looked towards her, she wouldn't be there. And uh, for obvious reasons, I kind of kept this to myself. I didn't tell anybody about this. And uh, one day, uh, Deb and I were talking about something or other. The subject came up, and I told her about this woman that I had been seeing in the kitchen. And she said, well, that's funny, because uh, a a couple of years ago, I think she said, I can't remember, but she said, I was here in the middle of the night and I woke up from a deep sleep and somebody came in and sat on the end of the bed. And she said, at first I thought it was you, but I looked next to me and you were sound asleep. And I felt her sit on the bed, felt the bed moved, and then a hand reached out and patted me on the leg. And uh, I thought, wow. Uh, I asked her what, what it seemed like and she said, it she thought it was a woman, that it seemed like a woman's presence that she was feeling. And uh, so I still see this woman from time to time in the kitchen. Nothing like that's happened with Deb again. But Deb got more curious than I did and she wandered around the neighborhood and started asking questions. There are a lot of folks who live in our neighborhood who've been there since the 60s when the neighborhood started and found out that uh, there was a woman who had lived in our house who had committed suicide not in the house. She had gone off to a park apparently and, uh, and taken Drano, something really caustic, and uh, committed suicide. And uh, she had, I think, three kids if I remember right. Her husband, interesting fella in his own right, he was one of the designers of the, he's the contractor who designed the house, but he also designed uh, the, the Enola Gay used to have a huge picture of the Enola Gay inside the house. And uh, anyway, any rate, just thought, throw a little history in there. But that gave us some light into this, that this may be the same woman, possibly, who uh, can't leave this spot for some reason or other because of uh, unresolved issues with her kids, or, or maybe she just sensed our emotional need, or a need to comfort in some way or another, I don't know. Spirit is obviously a very positive one.